Hi guys! So today I'm talking about mask acne. So a lot of my clients are battling mask acne. I will put the link of the previous video that I've done about mask and acne and really how to prevent future acne, how to deal with it. Uh, I have all that, my favorite product. But today I really wanted to focus on when you have breakout, what to do, how to make the process heal faster. And this is what I'm going to talk about. So I'm Madden, I'm the owner and founder of Sparkle Lifestyle in Medispa. And like probably most of you, I need to wear my mask when I'm working, when I'm going out in public, anywhere, anytime I cannot respect um, social distancing. It's a problem that I think a lot of us have and I'm going to help you with it. I wake up sometimes with a breakout. You can, not sure if you can see it, I think I have some going on there. Obviously you're trying to prevent it, that works way better than fixing it, that's my whole philosophy. The big ingredient when it comes to acne and speeding up the process would be the vitamin A. So vitamin A speed up your skin cell turnover. I prefer that over exfoliating. Usually it's more gentle and it, it can actually help, it's anti-aging. So Vitamin A, my big go-to when it comes to preventing acne and actually healing current acne scar. There's different type of vitamin A on the market. I can talk about, let's say, osmosis have a retinaldehyde version of vitamin A. What I like, they have a nice delivery system. The ingredients in it are actually active, so it's a medical grade type of vitamin A. It's not all the form of retinaldehyde that are still active uh, when they're kind of mixed together. So I like this one. This one is a lower percentage. So it's geared towards people that are really sensitive. I'm a big fan of a retinol when it comes to really speeding up the process of healing my acne or breakouts. So I actually really like the Vivier the 1%. Skin Better also have a 1%, so depending, a boat brand works really well. I will usually spot treat so take a little q-tip or something and just apply the, the vitamin a on the actual acne scar i can do that morning and night and then sometimes if i want to battle the actual acne scar the color of it my favorite one is the vivier uh, exfoliant forte it's a glycolic acid so that one go more in depth so if you're trying to battle the actually hyperpigmentation or the color from the acne scar glycolic is my go-to but both product only spot treat because because if you're using those products morning at night, that creates a lot of inflammation on your skin. And inflammation by itself is really not good. That can create future breakout, a lot of sensitivity, sun damage, speed up your aging process of your skin. So really those are things, the little tips and tricks to do, but only spot treat. So that's one way of dealing with acne scar. Then vitamin C. Vitamin C is really brightening. It helps your skin cell to produce the right amount of sebum oil production, collagen elastin. So I'm a big believer in vitamin C in general, but it that should be medical grade because a vitamin C, if you're using over-the-counter type of vitamin C or something that's in a moisturizer, it will only sit at the surface of your skin and will not do true change at the deep level of your skin. So it's really important to have a vitamin C that's a medical grade that will actually go in the skin deep at your cellular level and really change your DNA level and really heal and reverse, repair the damage. So that's why it's so important to have that vitamin C. And all the vitamin C, especially at the medical grade level, there's different type of vitamin C out there, different percentage, different kind. And you want the type that will actually work for your skin type. So an example for me, if I'm using a vitamin C at 20%, maybe because I'm acne prone and I may break out from it, or maybe if my vitamin C is combined with a vitamin E, that's a instant breakout. So I usually do better with a vitamin C that's combined with uh, maybe at 8% with not, uh, niacinamide, sorry, my, uh, my translation here. You know, some other ingredient that will actually help with the hyperpigmentation that other doesn't. Just be mindful of the type of vitamin C that you're using. I'll put a link below of the, the five day skincare challenge. It gives you like five day supply of the recommended skincare. There's a form that you're gonna fill and then we can really recommend the product for your own skin type so you don't need to guess and then like have bad reaction of a product so definitely look into this link 
so you can have recommendation uh, geared toward you. If you know that you want a vitamin C or something, just reach out to us and I'll be more than happy to recommend the one that you need for your specific skincare need. Vitamin C, really important. The one that I'm using, especially when I'm wearing mask, is the VV Radiance, lower percentage and just better overall for people that have hyperpigmentation and acne prone skin. So that's another way of speeding up the skin cell turnover and then repairing your skin and all the acne scars so the vitamin c vitamin a obviously you need to have a good cleanser i like a cleanser that has salicylic acid you know gentle exfoliant because you want to kind of remove that i I would i don't want to say the dead skin because the epiderm is there for a reason we want to keep it we just want to maybe clean up the pores and that's why i like salicylic acid the way i do it's more gentle and stay away from ingredient like alcohol because yeah they may dry you out at first give you some kind of instant gratification but when you start stripping your natural oil from your skin your body start producing even more oil and then you get to other problem. That's a good example of actually benzoyl peroxide. That's a good ingredient. I like it, especially when the acne comes from that bacteria, especially like if you're wearing the mask, I, that could be a good ingredient, but also I think washing your face properly and making sure that you, you clean your mask will also help. So I'm all about prevention. I prefer preventing the breakout than actually fixing it, but those are all product ingredient that I do recommend for your skin. It will never replace wash your face properly, having a healthy diet, washing your mask properly, have changing it often and don't leave your mask, you know, in your purse, in the car, somewhere. It's a piece of clothing that's right in your skin. Please be careful. How to cover up your acne, the current acne. So if you do have breakouts, I mean, I would suggest to kind of let it breed. That will speed up the process by itself and usually just because you're having a mask technically you're covering up anyway but if for whatever reason uh, maybe the breakouts are somewhere else more obvious or maybe you're doing video like me I would conceal it only conceal with a concealer that doesn't have dimeticone as the first ingredient because your silicone based product have tendency to clog your pores even more so I would just make sure that I pay attention to that specific ingredient or anything that's silicone based. I love using a mineral press powder for coverage instead of the liquid foundation because that kind of blocked my pore. So that would be my recommendation to kind of cover your breakout. So I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, oops, uh, feel free to reach out. I'll be there to answer any questions. Look at the, the challenge, the five day challenge uh, down below. I will put the video I just done in the description also. So thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and stay safe. Bye-bye.